So it's actually super cool. It looks very neat. Dakota Digital just showed up today. Super pumped, welcome back to Speed Freak TV. I'm super excited about these gauges. I've been waiting for these for a little while. They finally came in. Let's get them on the bench, take a look at what you get when you order gauges from Dakota Digital. So here's what you get when you order from Dakota Digital. Basically, you're gonna get them in these great little boxes that showcase the actual um, gauge faces. Now, I did elect to go with the older digital LED version because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to go with. So I picked up this one and we got this one as well. Now the thing I like about this particular one is it's very modern and it's got the LED lights and it looks pretty funky and I, this is really what I was going for until I called down to the Dakota Digital and one of the techs there said to me, hey, we got this brand new series coming out. It's called the MVX 2004. Now this one's brand spanking new and he says, I think once you try it, you're gonna like this one better. Now over here, we've already taken my dash a part off the tank, off the, the soft tail. And as you can see, this is the original speedometer that's in the bike right now. And all we really have is a speedometer, that's it. Down here you have your odometer, you'll have your clock, stuff like that, but it's very basic. So what we're gonna do is actually open this up and see what you actually get in the kit when you order from Dakota Digital. gauges and clusters and stuff for the motorcycles and they really specialize in Harley Davidson and other motorcycles as well. There you got your, it's not much to it, it's just this beautiful little all, everything's in here, it's ready to go. This is incredible and all this stuff is built in-house in their brand new facilities, 40,000 square foot facility down in Sweet Falls, South Dakota. Open up the package inside here, you get all the mounting brackets. Now this is actually an oil pressure sender. That's actually going to be part of the kit. We got some more stuff in here as well. Well, there's the mounting brackets that I've already had out of the box. So that comes in the kit. It's very easy to mount to the bottom of the original right here. It's so simple. There's really not much to tell you about it. It's so stupid friendly that even I can install this very easily. It's pretty much plug and play and it's just going to be a matter of taking a look at which gauge I want to run on the bike. Let's take a look at the MVX 2004. Now the brand new MVX 2004 is a new uh, system for Dakota Digital. They just actually started creating it. It's actually probably available now at the time you're watching this video. I know this is actually one of the first runs that came. This one is actually gonna fit exactly the same way into your, into your um, console of your motorcycle. And it's very simple to, to install, it really is. And behind here you have a bracket that you can mount on for the mounting bracket. Also comes with another sensor cable and there's another one in here right there. And basically that's pretty much it. it comes with a set of instructions. It's really straightforward, super easy to install. I can't wait to get started. Now the thing about this stuff that I like is you can tell that it's absolute quality. They've even gone back to the proper connectors. It's all plug and play. It is so easy to install. Now what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna install this one into my, into my gauge console here right now because I'm just gonna show you how simple it is to actually put it into the motorcycle. It's very straightforward. Okay, so removing this from your motorcycle is not hard at all. It's very, very simple. Really, literally just undo that main bolt up here at the top that we all see when we ride our motorcycles. Disconnect the connections that are connected to the main wiring harness of the Harley. And then literally just pull out your back. There's a, there was a mounting bracket there. It's very easy to come off. And it, literally, the stock one falls right out. Now, now that we have this giant hole here, we have our, our original seal which goes right in here. So easy, so simple. It's a beautiful fit. We're literally gonna take the Dakota Digital MVX 2004 and we're gonna plop it right in the hole. Just trying to make sure that we don't lose our seal. And just wanna make sure that it's nice and straight. Now that already looks super impressive. And one of the things I can tell you immediately that I love about this apps, the new one, is that it actually has a separate tack gauge right here. That is super cool. Now I am a fan of the LED screen and the whole black face when you turn the bike off, but 
this is actually kind of beautiful and I really like the way this one looks. This is just absolutely cool. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use the other mounting brackets to turn the whole unit over. But first, we gotta get a towel for the bench. Now installing the actual console and the gauges back on your bike is as simple as simply, I just put it up on the jack stand, I'm sitting on it right now, it makes it easier. Keeps it nice and level. Just replug in all the harnesses. That's it. So very much like the MVX 2004, the MCL 2004 was exactly the same way to install it. So I installed that in the bike and let's just give that a little bit of a run here and see what it looks like when we turn it on. It's actually super cool. It looks very neat. Love the, um, I love the LEDs. I think, I think the digital looks really, really awesome. But for my bike, I'm kind of going with that classic style. So it's a bit of a departure, but that looks really, really cool. Set. So you can change the colors of the RPM range that goes up when you're riding to the red or the green. You're technically pretty limited. And as you saw in the MVX 2004, there's just so much versatility. I have to tell you, Dakota Digital certainly doesn't make this a very easy choice. I really have some thinking to do. Oh well, time to try and figure it out. So you saw me install the system. It's so simple to do. I literally have set this thing up in about five minutes. What, what really impresses me about the D Dakota Digital Gauge, this MVX 2004, is it, this, the, the simplicity, the plug and play, and then the actual versatility of the unit itself. You can pick the colors you want. You can pick what you want it to tell you. You can, it'll tell you your zero to 60 time. I mean, just check out their website. It's all listed there and it's absolutely mind blowing what they cram into this little five inch gauge. The technology that's in this gauge right now is leading. There's nothing like it on the market. If you want to be different, if you want to have telemetry, if you want to have a lot of information of your motorcycle displayed right with the click of the button, this is the gauge you're going to want to get. The MVX 2004 is amazing. Um, I've made my choice. This is the one I'm going to keep for the bike. I think it looks amazing. I love the versatility of changing the colors. I like the fact that it's turn signal compatible with cancelling because I always forget to turn my signal signals off. I like having my head temperature knowing how hot the bike's running. Um, I do have the other two sensors that I'm going to be installing. It's just a matter of plugging into the stock wiring harness. It's so simple check out dakotadigital.com. Go check out the MVX 2004 lineup for a soft tail. Guys with soft tails and deluxes and bobbers, you guys, and, and just single gauge guys, you know what I'm talking about when you don't even have a gear indicator. And how many times you've been riding down the road in fifth gear or sixth gear, thinking that you're only in fifth, or vice versa, you're, in, you're, you're riding in fifth thinking you're in sixth, and just look down at the gauge, it'll tell you what gear you're in. I don't believe in recreating the wheel, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to set up the system because Dakota Digital has produced an incredible video. I've watched this video twice because once you understand how the menus work, it's so simple and so easy to run through the system yourself. Check out dakotadigital.com, all the links and information is down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, fill out the comments if you get any questions about the system and you're installing it or you have a problem of any kind. Uh, feel free to ask comments on this video, I monitor them all the time. Thanks for all the wonderful feedback on Project Softail. We'll see you guys next week on another episode of Project Softail.